Okay, so we're here today at City of Sydney Fire Station. Um, we cover obviously all in the city. A lot of people said to me that it's the best job in the world and I truly believe it is the best job in the world. So I've just recently started out here at the Academy. Uh, so my role is training and assessment. So level one firefighters going from, you know, from that level one stage to qualified firefighting stage. They do different jobs while they're out at station and then you assess them. Have a look back, love it. Um, the first thing I do when I come to work, I go and get my gear. So I go get my turnout gear. Um, so you have a look what number you are on the pump and I'm number two, so I hang my turnouts at whatever position I am, grab my helmet and my bushy bag and put it on the pump. Yeah, so we have three in the back. The city's a little bit different to other stations, but we have three in the back. We have the boss and we have the driver. So I have to check my air set. Yeah, so I have to take the mask off. So this obviously goes over your head when you go into fire. And this is so we can breathe. Obviously, don't breathe in the toxic gases. This is our tag where when we go into a fire, we disconnect and we give it to the driver so they know how long we're in the fire for. If you're driving, then you obviously do the pump check. Obviously water in the, the pump, making sure the, the radios work. And this is just so there's no leaks. Get it to a certain pressure. Um, so I've been in the job for roughly two years now. Uh, it took me probably four years to get in. Um, I, first of all, Erica got involved in it first and I found she just loved it so much and I have a few friends in the job and they kept telling me how amazing it is and um, they said that I would be good at it. So I decided to sign up and yeah, I just love the team aspect of it and helping the community and I feel it kind of relates well with um, Wanderers because they are quite a community-based uh, club and yeah, I love what I do and, and it definitely puts a smile on my face every day. Um, so a normal day, so I obviously live in Wollongong. Okay, we've got a call now, so if, do you want to film that? So yeah, you look at the board, so it tells you what what we're going to. So it's an AFA, so a fire alarm, and where we're going. So the driver goes and gets a printout, and then goes to the map around here, and we get ready. Okay, so here we are at the Academy. Um, I've just recently transitioned from Station Life to um, out here where we do some training and assessment side of things. Um, my role is to assess junior firefighters into a qualified firefighter role. Um, what I'm going to show you is a new bit of gear that we got, um, fire simulation that um, we're looking at trialling with using. It's a good way, a good tool for people starting out or even just a simulation if you, in that scenario, you would have seen me looking around a lot just to see if there's any other hazards or anything around it. That's another thing that it can be used for as well. Can I just see where I am in the room? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is, like I said up there, the practical learning environment for the academy. Um, we've got the live fire training facility in here, so that's where there's actually live fire. Um, so this is petrol station prop. So you can light up different parts of this and do different scenarios, I guess. So you can have the car on fire. Inside, what if there's office spaces, bedrooms. Oh yeah, there's a delivery, so like a, like a loading dock in there. So it's just all different, I don't know, different jobs you might go to, so. Um, this is what I was talking about there, urban search and rescue. So we've got a, like a disaster and humanitarian response capability, and this is where they do all the training for urban search and rescues. I was a teacher to start with and I travelled overseas for a few years and came back and started teaching again and thought you know I wanted to do something else and 
I spoke to a friend that was a, a fiery and I had never even really given it thought. And I've always said that, that it's an easy crossover between a team sport like football and fire brigade. It's um, very team orientated um, and I love that. That's why I play a team sport as well and this job as well. They're like your family really, you're with them a lot, a lot of hours in the day so um, and you're doing some pretty dangerous stuff at times so you want to you want to know that you trust the person next to you and that's kind of the same thing on a football field as well. <laughs> that got you. Yeah. <laughs> a little, <bit. laughs> <A> little jump. <laughs> with, with football I've experienced a lot of places that I probably wouldn't ever have experienced before and I'm quite fortunate, yeah like I said, the places I've been and I thought there was a time that I needed to actually think about what I was going to do outside of football and yeah I'm glad I chose fire and rescue and yeah I love it is tough at times, but I love, I love juggling in them both. I'd like to think that I would inspire the younger generation to push their boundaries and um, to follow their dreams and do what they want to do. Just believe that you're a badass woman and that can, can do whatever they put their mind to. And um, like myself and Erica have done, and we've followed the path of the firefighting and yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm.